Hey guys, welcome back. Mike here at Amazed Tutorials. Well guys, today we're going to do another request and the question that I got was, can you model a simple flathead screwdriver? So that's what we're going to do. All right. We're going to start with a simple polygon cylinder. We're going to pull that out and pull that up. Something like this. We're going to go to our polycube, uh, polycylinder, sorry, polycylinder one tab, and we're going to select round cap. And we're going to pull that up to about 20 to make that nice and round. Then we're going to switch to our side view, right click face, drag select the bottom half, and hit delete. Okay. Now that we got that, right click object mode, hit E, rotate that to minus 90. And we're going to move in, right click face. And we have 20 faces. So what we'll do is, uh, let's see, we'll do one, two, three, four, skip one, one, two, three, four, skip one, one, two, three, four, four, come on, four. And skip one, one, two, three, and four. All right. We're going to go to Edit Mesh, Extrude Under Face, and let's give that a little bit of thickness. That looks all right. Cool. Then we are going to right click, go to Edge, take that edge, Edit Mesh, and Extrude. Sorry, extrude under edge, edit mesh, extrude under edge. There we go, that one. It used to be only one extrude, so that's kind of confusing. Okay, and let's pull that out to about here. Proportionally speaking, let's see, we'll do this right there and then we're going to go to mesh tools injured edge loop tool option box and we'll do regular setting we'll put this right here maybe a bit closer and then we will go back in right click face one two three four one two three four one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Edit mesh, extrude under face. And let's see if we are good or not. Check it from this view right here. Zero point three nope zero point four that's better okay let's just see how the sky looks for now all right not bad now we're gonna go back in we're gonna right click go to edge double click on that edge edit mesh extrude under edge there we go we're going to hit W, we're going to pull that out, <coughs> and we're going to hit R, and we're going to scale that in. Something like this. G to repeat, W to pull out, G to repeat, R to scale out. To about there. G to repeat, W to pull out. and G to repeat and R to scale in. To about there. Okay. Is all right. And then we're going to right click at a face and we're going to select the faces that are in line with this guy. Looks 
all right. Edit mesh, extrude under face, and we're gonna pull the offset back a little. And then we're gonna hit R, and we're gonna pull that in. Like that, <coughs> excuse me, like that, all right. Right click object mode. Let's hit three and smooth this guy out. Nice, okay. Just need to tweak this a little bit. Not too happy with that section yet. Okay, so we're gonna go to mesh tools, insert edge loop tool. Actually, we'll do multiple, we'll do two right there. And then we're gonna hit R and we're gonna push them out to the edges. And they should be fairly equal, but they're not for some reason. So we'll just go back a few steps. We'll go to injured edge loop tool option box manual setting or regular setting, whatever you want to call that. I'm just gonna push that in like so. Q on our keyboard, right click object mode and hit three to smooth out, which already looks a lot better. Okay. Now let's create our blade, if you will. For that, we're gonna take a polygon cylinder. We're gonna hit E, we're gonna uh, rotate that, sorry, not smooth, rotate to 90 degrees. And let's position that correctly for, for wireframe mode. Hit W to move and V to snap. Let's see if we did that correctly. Yeah, looks like. From this view, we're gonna hit four and we're gonna move that out. And typically it would be inserted into the screwdriver to about there. Right click vertex. That looks about right. Okay, <clears throat> not quite there yet. Hit four once again. And we'll do this from this view actually. Okay, we are going to move into the section that's inside and we are going to go to insert edge loop tool option box and we'll do multiple we'll do two that's all right and then we'll do two again and these two we're gonna scale towards each other and then we'll hit a G to repeat and we'll do not that let's try that again We'll do two there, hit R, and we'll push them together as well. And then we'll hit F to zoom in. Five, that's not really gonna work for us right now. So we'll do it this way, right click face. Looks like I need to take the blade out for a sec. Object mode, pull that out, there we go. To zoom in and five for shaded mode okay right click face we're gonna take these two and let's see These two, not these two, these two. Edit mesh, extrude. All right, cool. Sorry about that guys. 
some urgent phone call for some reason. Okay, so where are we at? Okay, so we got these guys. We're gonna right click at object mode and we're gonna move this guy back in. All right, and we're just gonna check it from this view. So we're about there, looks all right. And then we need to create the uh, the blade, if you will, okay? So we're gonna go to uh, Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Tool, Option Box, Single Setting, and we're gonna add this guy right there. There we go. We're gonna hit Q on our keyboard, and then we're gonna right click, go to Face, select these faces, and let's check it from, let's see, what's the best view? We'll do this view right here. I have to zoom in. And we're gonna hit R, and we're gonna start to push that in, like so. And we're gonna pull that out, like this. Let's just check it from this view here. And as you can see, we need to move this edge loop up. Okay, so right click edge, there we go. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move that up until we are about there. And then we're gonna right click, go to face, select these. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna bring that back in just a little. And we are going to manipulate this guy. So right click edge. There we go. And we're gonna just tweak that a little bit. So the shape that we're going for isn't too bad. That's maybe a bit too much. Let's do this. All right. Now here at the end, we need to do a bit more. So select this guy. We're gonna push that way in. Looks about right. And maybe just take these two and flare them out a little bit. All right. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we want a black tip at the top. So we're going to go to Insert Edge Loop Tool. And we'll do one right there. And then we are going to apply some materials. So right click object mode, assign new material, MIA underscore X, material tab, presets, chrome and replace. There we go. We're gonna take this guy and we're gonna add a various materials to this, okay? So what we'll do initially is we will right click and assign a material. We'll take the same material, different preset, rubber and replace. And then we're gonna move in, right click face and we're gonna select these I'm trying to do that fairly quick. But that's always a thing when you want to do something quick. Okay, so we've got these four. Okay. So we've got all those. Right click, assign new material, same material, same preset, rubber, replace, however, different color. We're gonna go with red and move towards 
orange, which looks all right. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to move in the back here, and we are going to just uh, select these. And then we're going to hit shift and period to increase that selection. Looks about right. We're going to go to edit mesh extrude. We're going to hit W and we're going to pull that out just a little. And then we're just going to add this one face row. Right click assign existing material and we'll go with our last material there we go so that should be pretty good then we're going to go to our tip here right click face it's a little bit too much let's try it from a different angle just want these and nothing else right click assign new material same mia material Presets, Chrome, Replace, and we are going to make that color very, very dark. Okay. Let's quickly set up our scene for rendering. Take a ground plane, drag that out, and stretch that and stretch that. Right-click, assign the material. Let's go with a Fong E material and make that black. We're going to go to create lights and let's do an area light. Hit W, pull that up. Hit T to aim. This guy right here, I'll hit seven on my keyboard so I can see what my light's doing. have to zoom in okay push this guy back a little all right I'm gonna create a point light in W to bring that up to about there looks okay where is my area light at? Right here. Object mode. And let's hit Control D to copy that guy. Move it over here. Looks about right. We're going to go to our render settings. Mental ray, because we used mental ray materials, indirect lighting, global illumination, final gathering, in our quality tab. Let's see, we make sure we have ray tracing going on. That's good. I'll increase my image size to HD 1080 and I'll set up a uh, image based lighting. Let's select the file for that. Documents. And where do you go? Maya. Uh, let's see, HDRI. And I'll go with this one. Not quite sure if we have enough lights yet, but we'll find out very soon. And let's see if we have a nice angle for our render. Let me set up my resolution gate. Let's give this a test render. Okay, see you guys in a sec. Well guys, there you have it. There's our screwdriver. Um, yeah, there's not much uh, to say about it. You can uh, tweak it to your liking, obviously. And uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.